Hey everyone, and welcome to a very special episode of Behind the Sound. Uh, today we are joined by Omnia founder Frank Fodi, and we are also joined by Cornelius Gould, who was a co-developer for the new software version 4.0 update for the Omnia 11. Like, hey guys, how are you doing today? Doing well, All thank right. you. How are you doing? Awesome. Doing great. And of course, uh, like our other uh, recent Omnia 11 4.0 uh, interviews that we've done, we also have our own Paul Kriegler here. Hey, Paul. Hey, how's it going, Justin? <laughs> it's going well. So uh, the reason I've gathered everybody here today was, of course, to talk about that update. Um, and the first thing I kind of wanted to just uh, jump in with was, you know, to kind of get a, an idea of how this update came about. Um, were there any conversations that were had? Was there an initial... Uh, goal that you were trying to achieve um, with the 4.0 update. Uh, how did that conversation all get started? Justin, I think the thing was Corny one day came to me and he said that um, the Omni 11 was not burning anthracite coal the way that he thought it should. And that we had a couple of broadcasters whose uh, steam safety valves were lifting a little too often. Mm. Um, and what we ended up finding out was... Um, uh, East Wind, the locomotive, somehow got inside the code and was uh, affecting things. So um, now that you guys have uh, humored me by putting up with my goofy railroad gibberish, um, we'll, we'll cut to the chase. Uh, I, I think the short form is this. One of the things that we're always doing is um, we're always listening to the work that we've done and listening to the work that's on the radio that could be, you know, other products or things of that nature. And we're always asking ourselves, okay, you know, what we did, this sounds pretty cool, but if I had to try to raise it, what, what would I want to do? I know that's what I do. And I, I'm pretty sure it's what Corny does as well. And by the same token, we get really good feedback with regard to, um, you know, Mark Manolio, who's, uh, very involved in our customer support department. Um, uh, Max Pandini over in Italy, who does a lot of work with customers. Paul, you know, they bring us back thoughts and opinions as well as, you know, good customers. So um, one of the things we're always trying to do and probably the thing that's like that brass ring, you know, that you're always trying to grab on the, you know, carousel is what can we do to increased performance with respect to clarity, competitiveness, detail, um, you know, consistency. Uh, and, you know, I know those are the things that are always going through my mind. And many times what I, what I find is based on the, the work that I may have done or we've collectively done or Corny's done, you know, after it runs for a while, it kind of ruminates and runs in the background of your own mind, then new ideas come forward. It's like, hey, what if we do this? Or, hey, what if we do that? Um, and I can't tell you how many times I've been uh, working either in one of the labs, either downtown at the headquarters or at my home, or, you know, Corny will come in or he'll ring me up and he'll say, hey, I was kicking around an idea. What do you think of blah, 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 blah. Uh, or, or he'll shoot me, you know, some uh, design because we, we, we work on the same development platform together uh, or and vice versa, by the way. And um, we'll exchange feedback. And um, through that, it's been a wonderful collective effort and new things come about. So um, I'm, I've been, um, in a way, pleasantly surprised by the uh, overwhelming reaction to um, people that have put 4.0 on the air. Um, I mean, to my ear, it was like, okay, you know, we're, we're, we're achieving some things that we've always wanted to do. Um, and the, the way that people have just like over, in an overwhelmingly fashion, just come like jumped out of the woodwork going, wow, you know, where did this come from? You know, um, it, you know, it, 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 it's actually been um, a lot of fun. At least that's my perspective on it. You know, Frank uh, tells the story pretty uh, pretty much how it went how it went down. Um, like he says, you know, when you have a product running and you get some, you know, and it and it's running and it becomes like an like an, a status quo, if you will. 
uh, in the field and, and either, you know, Frank or I or customers might, you know, come to us and say, hey, you know, I've been trying to do this and how can how can I how can I make it, you know, this effect stand out even more on my station? Because I think that'd be really cool. And, you know, sometimes sometimes, well, usually we can come up with a way that will, you know, make them happy. But in the back of your mind, you're, you're, you start going, you know, what if we did something here because if we could make this go even further, I bet they're going to like it even more. Mm -hmm. So it's so it's like a collection of those things. So when you have an opportunity to to come in and 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 you know make an enhancement or whatever, or some so, or something comes to the point where it makes sense to go ahead and do it, like with four point oh, um, you try to you know not only hit that main thing, but then try to bring forward some other aspects of the audio processing algorithm to you know bring more tools to play or, or make it you know, more range for customers to, to use. Perfect. You know, Corny's being overly modest because I'm old school with regard to burning coal, but Corny needs to come clean here and actually come forward in the fact that he found a way to put rocket fuel <laughs> in some of the algorithms. I mean, yes. I mean, we're talking here. I mean, Elon Musk and Richard Branson, they got nothing on this guy, folks. <laughs> nothing. And I'm telling you, right here and now. So, I mean, you heard it first, right here, right now. So when it comes to, to 4.0, what would you say has been, you know, the biggest difference this time around um, compared to prior updates for the Omni 11? The thing that I keep hearing is uh, how are, how, how did we come up with a way to like, um, I even had somebody said, how did you explode the high end and make it so clean and so clear, yet I did not give up any loudness. If anything, I gained some loudness. Mm. And, um, you know, I, I, on that one, I, I, think, I, I, I think the locomotive did that work along with Corny um, because, you know, that was even, you know, beyond me. Um, it was kind of fun uh, to to play around with a few thoughts that were kind of poking around in my head for a, for a while, but I wasn't sure how to go about doing it. Um, so, you know, when these requests came in and, and Frank approached me about working on 4.0, it, it gave me a chance. It, it, at that point, you know, some things became clear as a, a possible way to do that huh. and um, poked around and came up with some a few breakthroughs here and there and um, shared them with Frank. and. You know, usually, like when you share things with Frank, Frank will hear things you don't hear, or you know, well, it sounds great, but, but this is one of those few times where you know, threw it over the wall to Frank, and the only reply was, "Sounds good." <laughs> so that felt good. Awesome. Yeah, the, the feedback from our from our user base here in the United States, anyway, um, I can't speak so much for other parts of the world, was pretty immediate, and that um, the, the the comments were like, it, it seems like the eleven holds the stereo image better. Um, certainly the more highs uh, comment, um, those that aren't in a loudness challenged market where, you know, the market's super duper loud, notice that, wow, it just sounds more cleaner, more, uh, seems like it's more responsive to the input, to the source audio. It's really, um, hear less processing. Uh, a lot of people said they heard less processing. It's more, to, that's kind of what I would say. It's, 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 it's a less processed sound to me is what I get out of it. If you're wondering, well, how how can that be? There is an explanation, and and it all comes down to, um, you know, because we're because we're operating in a very very defined and limited range, which obviously is 100% modulation or maximum modulation for whatever part of the world you're in. Um, there's only so. On one hand, I've had people tell me this for years. Oh, you know, there's only so much you can do, and. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I agree with that to maybe about 75%. The other 25% is where it, 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 and that's where the creativity comes in, is how do we um, manage the signal so that we're able to achieve um, uh, the ability to generate a competitive sound, yet either suppress or in some cases actually eliminate the components that would annoy the ear and you know in plain you know and i guess audio specifications that would be called distortion 
But the reality is, is that anytime you manipulate a signal, you are in essence distorting it to some degree. But we're talking about the stuff that you perceive and that, and that can be annoying. It really comes down to the mechanisms that we employ to manage and control distortions, both harmonic distortion and intermod distortion. And just the last 10, 30, 15 seconds here, a lot of people think, oh, distortion control, that must be in the clipper. Well, yeah, there's some of that going on. But one of the things that Corny has done a fa phenomenal job on is being able to control those same anomalies or annoyances in the form of intermod distortion and the gain control function. So all of that becomes additive. And, and, and when you get all of that working, quote unquote, in concert, then that's when the magic comes on the radio. While Corny and I work on the algorithms, you know, there's other members of our team that are very involved on the operating system, user interface, networking and things of that nature. So um, one of the things that those guys are always doing is is combing over the, you know, the core software and the code. And, you know, they also keep a laundry list of the things that they want to see become improved. If it's from, a you know, an operational uh, efficiency standpoint, uh, memory efficiency, uh, things of that nature. And so I'm sure there's a, you know, a handful of um, items that were addressed by the other parts of our team that are involved in, in a release of this manner. No, and what I want to add to this as well is, you know, when <clears throat> hearing us talk about, you know, how great the improvements are, um, if you're a user who's perfectly happy with the way your, you know, station sounds with the, you know, 3.x version, um, the if you upgrade to 4.0 and do nothing else um, and just load your same preset back in, it'll still sound exactly the way you have it adjusted now. Um, so the improvement is not, mm. you know, forced upon you. But if you want the improvement, you can go in and, you know, turn it on and, you know, start with, you know, I heard Paul give this advice to folks, just below it in your existing preset and just turn on the new, you know, the clipper update up by itself and you will instantly hear a change and, you know, a, a, a clarity come into your existing preset. And, yeah, and, that's, that's under FM and advanced. And yeah. turn on that Silvio clipper and you're taking your, oh, your, whatever preset you've always enjoyed in your 11 and adding the new sound of the clipper to it. You, know, you might want to make a few adjustments before or around it to compensate for the new sound of the clipper, but you know, to each his own. But that's yeah. that's what I would recommend for a, a real quick starting point for somebody who's real familiar with their 11. You know, somebody once asked me not too long ago, why did we why did the uh, clipping system get named the Silvio Clipper? Well, there's a reason for that. Um, uh, that guy right there, Silvio Dante, my cat. Mm. It's his design. He did it with his steam engine. So just as he's silky smooth in his fur, that's what that's the effect he was trying to get with the audio. Clever. I like it. <laughs> Went up to Frank and said, "Touch me, touch me. Feel how smooth that is. Your audio." There you go. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to join us. Uh, it's been awesome hearing. All of your perspectives on this and uh, it's been really interesting hearing how the update came about and people are really happy with it so uh congrats and, and thank you you're welcome thank you, bro. Yeah.